All right, guys, here are Professor JP, my uh, friend Roland. We want to show a, a, couple, a couple ways to finish from the back, some details that I hope you guys like, and then some drills just to get on the spot and, uh, and they'll be able to, to do the finish that we want to show right now, okay? So let's get it into it. All right, so now we're going to do a simple drill. It's going to be two options. Uh, just to get on the spot of the, of the same uh, choke that we did before. So from here, just remember that I always want to be like heavy hip to hip, okay? Try to keep your knees out of the ground. I'm always driving my way towards my opponent, okay? Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and get my seat belt, okay? I get my seat belt, and now my leg that was stepping, I'm gonna switch, and I'm gonna step with the opposite one, okay? Now, it is very simple. I just wanna bring him between my knees. Okay, bring my, my opponent between my knees. Now, the hand is under the, the armpit. I will grab the collar and I'm gonna feed to the hand, okay? Don't try to like pull the hand out and get the lapel. I'm only gonna open and feed the lapel, okay? At the same time that I'm doing this, I will pull my top hook on his leg, okay? Now, bottom hand goes to the opposite side of the collar. I will use my top leg to help me bring him to the other side, and my bottom feet, I'm gonna use it also to dip in towards him so I can bring him. So I'm using my, my toes on the floor to dip in, okay, and then I bring him. If you see, I'm in the same spot that I was before for the choke. So from here, my top leg will step on the hip so I can bring him down. My bottom leg goes across the belly, leg over, I can put my feet, finish my choke. Okay? Worst case scenario, if you lose this, you just push the head and you're gonna continue with the number. So that was my first drill that I will get uh, you know the back and I'm gonna bring him all the way over. Now, same thing for the drill, I'm heavy here with the hips, I get my seat belt and again I switch my legs. I pull him between my legs and now I want to feed the lapel at the same time that I pull my hook, okay? So I open the lapel, pull my hook and feed the lapel, okay? Now this one also goes on the bottom. Now, before I bring him, because I don't have my bottom hook, they feel they can escape, so they only wanna they only wanna hip escape that direction. Okay, so my partner is gonna hip escape. You see now I can I can bring him over. So I don't wanna let go. I don't wanna give out the position. I'm gonna use my toes on the bottom to come on top. Okay. Now I step and I sit back again. Now one detail here is that my leg is gonna come like my shin is right close to his back. I, if you see the, this angle, you see him. I don't want to open like that, okay? I bring it this way close. Now I sit, and again, I have the same spot to finish the choke, okay? So one more time. So, sit belt, switch my legs. I bring him between my legs. I feed the lapel at the same time that I put my hook, okay? Now bottom gets the opposite side. Now, because I don't have my bottom hook, you will hip escape, you see, there. Now, I don't want to give up the spot. I'm gonna keep this tight, and I use my bottom toes on the floor so I can pose and come on top. You step like this mount, and I'm gonna sit back, you see? Boom, same spot. If, if you bug me with this hand on the on the collar, I use it like to step here, boom. You know, clear the arm. One, two, boom, and finish. Okay? Thank you guys.